Hello everyone, um, I'm going to do a color grading tutorial. So what we have here is we're in Premiere Pro CS 5.5 and um, here's some footage of a movie I'm actually working on that I'm the cinematographer for. So what I like to do is, actually let me start from the beginning here, is I like to go to color correction, color balance, and color balance uh, this out. Um, I also like to preserve the luminance or whatever it's called over here. I don't really know. And then I like to try to find what the best grading possible for these are. Oh, it would go nice. See, so already you can see the difference. That's without it, that's with it. That looks a lot nicer actually right now. Give it some. See, and also um, a reason why I have another timeline of the same clips is I'm going to export this to show you the comparison of both of um, both the raw and the actual color corrected, so you can see a different side by side comparison. See now, color balance is really awesome to use, and it's really easy too. And I think it's a lot better than the uh, color corrector. Let's just check this out. Taking off the effect, we add that. Look at that. There is actually blue. You can see the blues right here are a little darker, a little more darkness. See that? A little more skin, fleshy skin tone around here. What else? See, this is a, more of a green tint. Also, we bring in some uh, of this sofa color right here. And then also what I like to do is um, an image control color balance RGB sometimes. I throw that on and see how that also looks with it. See how that gives a little more flesh tone to it. Mm, right there. Then I like to also throw that around. See, and see a little difference with it on and off. It's a little more muddier with it off. And then it's a little more popped out in the flesh. So yeah, I don't really use uh, color correct, the three, whatever, three-way color corrector. I like to use color balance a lot. I don't, I don't know how everyone is. Let's do another one. Um, I mean, I started using color balance during a wedding. Also, oh, wait, let me just go back to that last clip. Let me show you a difference here. Now, if you take the luminance off on this clip, see how it's darker? I like to always keep that on sometimes. In certain situations, hopefully I'll have one here for you. Uh, it's really not really, um, yeah, it's really not like a big deal. I mean, yeah, the luminance is really good. I don't know why there's green. Oh, shit. I don't know. These files are really weird. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Why is this doing this right now? Oh, shit. Yeah, these files are, um, I don't know, I can't convert the MTS files because I'm on a Mac. See, like, so we're keeping that right there. So yeah, like I said, I convert the MTS files to a Mac-based computer. So I got a smart converter, which I downloaded in the App Store. Uh, that looks good. Oh, right there. So you can still, it's a lot better. I Actually, I should maybe just even this, let me just do a lazy man way and copy and paste this, take this out. Let me see how that looks first. That looks good, and then let me copy and paste. Copy, paste. If it's in the same scenario, I would say, like, try to keep everything the same and even then, which you should just copy and paste. If it's going to be almost the same thing, I like to try to at least copy and paste because you're having, like, the same... Same things. Okay, so, copy and paste. 
Now let's check that without it. See, I see? Look at that difference. Bam. Now this is different. This is a, a new scenario that we're in, so we're going to go color bounce again. Preserve the luminance. Now this is really hard. I was trying to figure out how to do this correctly. I was just fooling around with this for shits and giggles. Um, so I've been trying to get a perfect night scene. And it's kind of hard. I mean, I'm trying to do this correctly, so... Because, you know, the night scene, it's dark and stuff like that. We are using blue gel filters for the lighting, which I used for this scene particularly, so it, I thought it helped in the color grading. And I'm still trying to figure it out. This looks pretty good, actually. You can't really see him. It's more of a shadow, which, you know, I don't mind if I was color grading this, but I'm... Actually, just doing this as a tutorial for you guys. Yeah, it's not really that light in a in a dark room. Just get a little more. more blue right there. I think that should be good. Let's see with that off. Actually, I like it without the luminance. See, now this is an example where the luminance doesn't come into play. Then maybe we'll just throw on an image uh, a color balance RGB. See, that uh, actually cleared up. Watch. I mean, you can't really see it that much, but if you look over here, it cleared it up a little. So yeah, he's a little more blue. We're gonna bring, out those, bring down those greens, and those reds are really eliminated in this. Actually, I bring down the red, like it, as you see. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's that clip. We'll move on to the next one. See, that is a very red, 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 red clip right here. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to go to our color balance. And we're going to try to even this out. I think, color, like I said, I think color balance is great. Let's preserve the luminance. Oh, look at that. Alrighty. We just make this a negative and look I just want to show you the difference right there look at that all that red is now less distracting you know I'm just gonna so look at that so yeah like I like to throw around with color balance because like I said it's a lot easier and I just want to show you like look at this look at the difference So yeah, you just have to like really move around and like what you think feels necessary and right in your eyes is what you want to get the color right. Color. That's really what it is. See like there's a shade of green so I'm trying to keep that away and then So yeah, if you see this, now let's take off the color balance again at the end. See, look at that. You got the pink now in here, right there. And, and there, it's kind of like mixed almost with the red. And then you have some nice, really nice flush tones coming out too. The blues actually on the back are looking pretty nice. If you see right here, the blue. And what else? Yeah, so let's... Continue that. Oh, that's added on. So as you can see, look at that. So let's go. Oh wait, let's one more thing. We had to do some. Let's just see how it looks with the image, the color balance. I mean, the RGB color balance. So little, a little different. Little. Mm, it might not actually we can we can leave it. Looks pretty good. See a little difference, a little darker with it on. As you can see if you look in this red area right here also. A little a little darkness. But I think that looks nicer. Okay, right, next, let's go back to color correction, color balance. Now I love CS5 because it's very easy to use all this stuff instead of going to uh, 
bring this into Premiere, uh, into After Effects. Let me. I'm just gonna try to get this. All right. Let's leave the luminance on. All right. So you see, there's a little difference right there in the blacks. So I'm, I'm really still highlighting those blacks. Let me just restart this one actually I might. And hold on, let me just see this is the tricky one. You want do you want to preserve the luminance with this? Because if you look at it without the luminance, or the luma, I think it is, I'm sorry. If you take it off, as what I'm doing right now, this is without it right here. I'm going to take off the effect. It's red. Put it on. And I'm sorry, you take on the effect. It's a very nice color. And then if you put this on, a little darker. So I like, I like it with the luma, actually. And let's just bring this out a little bit down. Want to get rid of those? Try to get rid of those reds because it's very red in general. That looks a lot better, actually. The face a little blue. Let's turn this off real quick. Look at the difference. And I said, don't mind the green stroke flames. Now let's look at that again. Even though you kind of lost color in the eyes. I mean, it's still, you still see a slight brown right there, but this is actually a little more dramatic if you ask me, because everything's black and all this stuff. Alright, so that's what we're doing right there, and then we're going to also, like I said, go back to color balance, maybe just try to balance that a little, because it is a little red. See now, if you add that color balance, you drop down the red to 90 right there. Add a little bit of the green, you still you still get a nice flush tone. Bam, look at that. Now this is this would be a tricky one to do. Let's do another color balance right there. Boom, throw that up. Uh, I think I was I was actually just fooling around with this one. I'm gonna try my best to correct this, but this is kind of hard to do because it was a shot that we were pulling off, and we just did it for dramatic effect. And I think it came out really well with shot. I mean, it's a beautiful shot if you ask me. I love the film noir aspect of everything, but I'm gonna just try to quickly color balance this one because it's a little tough for me. Still being new to the whole color correcting myself. And look at that, it actually looks pretty good. And I don't think we need a color balance for this. Let me just check it out without the Luma. Uh, you know what, let's leave it, let's leave it off. Is it, yeah, if you can see there's a little difference, there's a big difference right there. Alright, and like I said, there's going to be another video where I'm going to have both the, both, <clears throat> both the raw and the corrected footage right next to each other. So that's going to be really good and helpful for you guys if you want to see what it looks, what the difference is. I think I might post that first and then do this tutorial. So whatever you see first, please check out. Alright, so we got some flesh tones right in there. Maybe like bring this out a little. Oh yes, this was a tough one. I remember trying to fool around with this already. Because it's a very unique... Let's just save an auto. Alright, see now that looks a little better. Let's just check that out. Ooh, that looks better. Uh, now we can do that again. Let's do that again. Let's leave it at the... Let's not preserve it. See now we want to try to get this wall 
white. As the walls are really ugly. Sorry. See now, look at the, the difference between the wall and all that. It's, uh, see that the lipstick's kind of throwing it off here. Let me just, we're going to keep that on. So. Down a little. This looks uh, decent. This looks a little better now. See, now you get this bathroom feel. Yeah, look at that. It's a little better. You don't want to... Just add a little mid-tone to that. A little mid-tone of the red. Mid. I, let me just check that out real quick. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer. See, and then keep that lumen, the whatever it is this L word, and then we'll just color balance this out. I think I think a nice color balance will actually help this, or maybe it won't. <sighs> yeah. Uh. No. Uh, there we go. Let's just. Check. Actually, we don't need the color balance for this one, so we're going to get rid of that. And that is how I color correct stuff. So, if this wasn't being stupid. So, I'll try to get rid of the actual uh, green stuff. So, basically, let's run through it again. First, click on your clips. Go to color balance. Go. I'm sorry. Go to video effects. You go to color correction. I go to color balance. Highlight it over the clip. Then, after that, you do your markings. I like to preser preserve the lumen. Luma. I'm sorry. Preserve the luma. If that works, play around with it. See how you feel. See what you think. Um, then go to image control. Color balance RGB. That's very important. Use the RGB color balance to. Try to balance it out a little. That will also help some of your clips sometimes. And that's how I like to color grade or color correct, however you want to call it. Um, this is a tech that kills John, and I'm done for the day.